Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to decrypt files that were infected by Operation Global 3 ransomware. Uh, this ransomware is pretty typical. Once it gets on your computer, it will attempt to uh, lock you out and encrypt all your files, and it will also demand a payment. Um, luckily, the keys are actually stored in each file, though, that's encrypted. So uh, decryption was possible with an application I made to patch the infection. So first off, we're going to show you these files are just normal picture files. Nothing special about them. Uh, you know, rename them weird things uh, just in case the infection looks for uh, sample files. And uh, now we can uh, continue on and see what the infection does to these files. This is the infection. It's actually uh, uh, disguised as a picture. It can be disguised as any file. So watch out for that. So we're going to go ahead and start it here. The infection actually uh, opens up the picture that's internally inside of it to make it look like as if nothing's wrong. We can even see a service was created down here. It's not really important at the moment. So uh, we'll go ahead and leave this up till the infection comes up. Let's see how the process is doing. Yeah, we got our two processes running here. We got the third one here. All right, here we go. So this is the infection. Um, it's kind of uh, off the screen a little bit for some reason, but uh, that's okay. So with this infection, you can actually use Alt-Tab to maneuver around on your computer. Um, they didn't do a very good job of locking you out. But, so if we really wanted to, we could end the process right now. But there's really no reason to do that, because my patcher that I created needs the infection to be running. So you might as well just leave it running. Um, it, even if you don't, though, my patcher will start it before it begins to patch. So it really doesn't matter, on or off. The infection exe has to be on the computer, though. So let's go ahead and go to our desktop. So right now we see that, um, you know, we got no explorer. You can actually hit the start button and see everything, but you still don't have a, a start bar. So now we can actually go to our uh, pictures. As you can see, they're actually encrypted. Um, you know, they turn them into .exes. Every one of your uh, personal files will be turned into .exes. And your file will be actually in the application, but the, uh, the infected file, every time you click on it, will actually start the infection. So we double click on ant.jpg.exe, nothing will happen because we already have the infection up and running right here. And, um, you know, they're not going to show you your picture until you actually pay for the infection. So right now, you know, as a normal user, you're, you're kind of freaking out right now because, uh, you know, you, all your files are encrypted. You got to pay 0.391 bitcoins. Um, but luckily, this infection was actually pretty crude. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, desktop and cut right to the chase of the decryption. So right here's the uh, the patcher I created. We're going to open it up. Hmm. One moment. Sorry about that. I forgot that the infection will actually modify every exe it can get its hands on. Uh, to actually contain the infection. So every time you click on it, it just tries to run the infection again. So that's why my patcher wasn't opening up. So let's go ahead and uh, continue. So now we got the right patcher here. I'm going to open it up. And this is the patcher that I created. Now, since we already have the infection running, you know, all we have to do is hit patch. Even if we didn't, all we'd have to do is hit patch anyways. So we're going to go ahead and hit patch now. Notice the infection closes. Now, the message says the infection has now been patched and the main screen of the infection should now have closed. If you still see the infection, something went wrong and you should restart. If the infection patched correctly, you should now be able to click on any of the encrypted files and they would decrypt themselves. So, let's go ahead and uh, do what the patcher says. So, we're going to go ahead and exit out. So, now we're going to go over here to ant.exe, which would normally start the infection. We're going to double click on it. And now, as you can see, the picture actually comes right up, and then now it's no longer an EXE. It's simply a JPEG. So now we can go ahead and do this for all of the, the pictures on the desktop. And every time you click on them, now they will turn back into your JPEGs and your pictures or whatever you had on the computer. Now, that's pretty much wraps it up. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and leave you with, uh, if it's not a picture, but for example, like a zip file, like this one. See, this is a zip file that's an exe. Because it's not a picture, for some reason, when you open it up, it'll open and you can see all the files inside here. But if you notice, it doesn't pop up next to the actual infected version. Um, what it does is it actually puts a version of it in the temp folder of your computer. So it's right here. So if you double click on a file and it opens, but you can't find it beside of the encrypted version, it just simply means to put it in the temporary file. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this video up and uh, the patcher will be right below it somewhere on whatever site that you're viewing it on. Good luck, and uh, I hope this really helps anybody with this infection.